Okay guys, so Penny is downstairs right now and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna get her to me without saying a word. We're just gonna be using the tone recall. That is the button on the side that's by itself. It's got a big T on it. So I'm gonna tap this a couple times and she's gonna come running. Good girl! That's my baby girl. Hi, Penny! Sit! Good girl. And that's how we get our dogs to us without saying a single word. Hey guys, I'm with Penny. She's a nine month old beagle that just went through our three week board and train. She goes home actually tomorrow. So I wanted to show you what a finished dog looks like and feels like. Um, they are always able to do everything completely off leash by the end of their stay. They are able to go pretty much anywhere that dogs are allowed. Stores, restaurant patios, hiking trails, um, car rides are no problem for them because we're teaching them how to do all of this. Uh, and by the end, it transfers so easily to the owners because the knowledge and the language is all on the e-collar, which stays the same. The only thing is whoever is talking to the dog using the e-collar has to know how to use it, which is what we do at the go home session. So I've got her in this nice off leash heel which is essentially, it's the same as the on-leash heel, but you're using your e-collar for your communication. So if she were to veer out, back, ahead, I'm going to use, well, first we tap our tone, and that usually gets them right back to your left leg. And if they're ignoring the tone, then you can tap your stem. But she's using my left leg as a reference point. So if I speed up, she speeds up. I can tap that tone to give her kind of a turbo boost. If I slow down, she slows down. Good girl. And that's actually an exercise that we teach owners to do if they feel like their dog is not fully paying attention. One of the moves I'll tell them to do is to start walking really fast and then abruptly slow down. You can make turns. Your dog should be following your left leg. Good girl. And when I stop, she should sit, sit. Good girl, baby. I'm gonna flip the camera around. I'm gonna show you some down stays. Penny, down. Very good girl. I like the mentality that she's carrying with the commands. Um, we are not after dogs dropping down as fast as they can and then looking up for their food reward um, because it just doesn't carry over well into the real world. We want dogs to be listening just because, good girl and I calmly am able to praise her and pet her. Very good girl. And this is a dog who's reliable to be taken out into public. Now with the downstay, the way that her owners are gonna take this home and proof it is simply by putting her in the command, putting her in the down, and then walking away and then introducing distractions that are gonna be tempting for her to either want to run towards or want to run away from. So this is when you see us, we take trash cans and run and buy them bikes, um, anything like that. She's really tempted by baby talk and crouching down because she just wants to love everybody. But we wanna make sure she understands when you're in command like that, it's not appropriate to break and go towards anyone who's talking to you. So we'll proof it. And if she makes the mistake of breaking, I'm just gonna say no. I'm gonna click the collar and tell her to go back in her down. Hey, baby girl, hi. Oh, my sweetheart. You're such a good girl. Hi, Penny. Good girl. And then I'm going to say, good girl. Because she's she knows. We've done this enough times. Good girl. Very nice. But that's just a nice way to keep your dog sharp is simply just by putting them in command and then testing them. And But being ready. So I notice I'm set up. I'm already a step ahead of her. I'm expecting her to break. I'm not doing this. And then, oh, she broke command. Where's the remote? and then it's all over. <laughs> That's when your dog tends to take commands a little less seriously. So I'm gonna try my recall, where I'm gonna call her to me. I'm gonna praise her as she's on her way, and then I'm gonna tell her to sit her down right here at my feet. Come, good girl, baby, good girl, sit. Nice, jackpot right there, good girl. Sit. Good girl. Down. Nice. Break. Good girl. That's 
That's her favorite one. That's her favorite one. Good girl. Okay guys, so now we're gonna head inside and we're gonna end with some duration place. Duration place is something that I like to do before and after a walk because lots of dogs tend to get really excited before walks and they also, some owners say, they get the zoomies after walks because they are just carrying in that frantic energy. So a really good habit to get into for especially multi-dog households is duration place 20 minutes before your walk and then you come in and it's right back to the place bed to relax for a little bit after your walk. Penny, place. Good girl. Very nice. And she goes into that auto down. Good girl, Pen.